Hey guys, Darren Miles, Darren Miles Photography based here in beautiful, really sunny, Southwest Florida. Um, you know, I try really, really hard to steer clear of controversy on my channel, but a video just came out by the Northrops, one of the biggest YouTube channels in the photography space, that takes down National Geographic photographer Steve McCurry and tells a backstory that frankly I'd never heard of before. And um, I've got an opinion about it that might be controversial. On my channel, I generally try very, very hard to kind of avert controversy and try to just not get involved with the minutia of YouTube and personalities and everything else. However, uh, okay, so I never really want to take anyone down on YouTube. It's just not my style. I just don't do that. But I have to say, um, there's a YouTube channel out there. It's kind of, it's one of the juggernauts. It's in the top five of YouTube channels who just put out a video that kind of disparages a National Geographic photographer by the name of Steve McCurry. And um, I didn't, never really heard that backstory before, and it's about the Afghan girl. And I watched the video, and honestly, I thought it was pretty compelling. Um, Tony Northrup's video, I thought it was pretty compelling. And I was like, wow, I never heard that backstory before. How, that's, that sounds kind of disappointing, you know, with, with the way he described how the whole thing went down. And I started thinking about that. I'm like, this picture is now, what, 30 years old? And why are we taking it down now? And then I heard more of the backstory. And, you know, I think as photographers, sometimes we do take creative license and we will set up a fantasy shot. I mean, how many wedding pictures reflect, re reflect reality. How many wedding photos aren't staged where we white balance the sky and make it blue, like much bluer than naturally occurs. And we pass that off as like a creative license to, to tell the fairy tale story of the wedding and the couple. And I think when, what Steve McCurry did, even if he staged that shot of the Afghan girl, the, the very famous photo with the girl with blue eyes, even if he staged that image, to tell a story, I don't really have a problem with that. And I think this is kind of the line that we need to draw here. I think the big, I think what's coming to a head right now, at least in my opinion, is there, there's becoming a greater rift between YouTubers and photographers. In my opinion, real photographers don't have a ton of time for YouTube. Speaking for myself, I, I definitely fall into the category of photographer. I do this for a living. I mean, I'm on the road. I'm doing between three and seven, sometimes eight jobs a day. It's not an exaggeration. If you have, if you don't believe that or you think that's crazy, I'm serious. Email me, text me. I will, I will happily have you along with me for a day to show you how hard I actually work in the genre of photography. And it's a little bit disparaging to me when. YouTubers, who, by the way, run great channels. I want to make it very, very clear. I'm a fan of the Northrops. I like their channel. I think they do a great job on the whole. But I, uh, I'm watching this video about Steve McCurry, and I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed because I'm like, you know, a, photographer, a photographer's job is to tell a story. And sometimes, like I said, you take creative license in doing that. And I, th I think what Steve McCurry did is he took a picture of that girl to help narrate a story. I don't think it was false. I don't think it was bad journalism. I think it was him telling a story. And then Tony tells one story, but then there's this video that has come out that explains how that woman says she was proud of the picture and how it helped orphans in Afghanistan. And I think that part was left out by Tony. And I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm a little bit put off because the Northrops, I think, run a great channel, but I, that video, I'm like, uh, I don't know that would have produced that. And as a working pro myself, you know, sometimes we will take creative license to tell a story. And I don't think Steve McCurry did anything wrong at all. That's still an iconic image. It's still one, of, speaking for myself, it's one of my favorite images of all time. 
when I think of photography, that's one of those images that inspired me to even get into this business. I mean, it was one of many things that got me into this business, but that was, it's like to be able to create an iconic image like that, that's like every photographer's fantasy. And, um, you know, I, I think Steve McCurry, who's put himself in war zones, who has been doing it for a long time, does this for a living. Um, I, I'd be pretty upset about that video. I'm just, again, speaking for myself. I mean, the guy was in a war-torn country at the time. Yeah, it was a refugee camp, probably away from the guns and bullets at the time. But still, you know, I don't know. I, as, a, as a pro who's out there every day, I, I don't think that video was necessary by the Northrop's. So just my two cents. I'm sure I'm going to hear it about this because I generally don't take other photographers down and I usually avoid the whole controversy thing. But um, I'm a little bit disappointed with the Northrop's in this one. So anyway, that's my two cents. Darren Miles, Darren Miles, photography based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. And